Hi, I'm Tony Phillips. Today we're looking at how Fujifilm, Olympus and now OMD cameras do focus stacking. You'll notice that there's a lot of similarities in the process, though not all settings are equal even if you set the same exposure variables. So let's dig in. Let's look at how the OM and Olympus cameras do focus stacking. Before we start, let's capture an image at f22 so that we can see what would happen if we use that. So I've set the OM-1 up at f22 with an ISO of 800. I focused uh, not right at the bottom but close to the bottom just mostly for hyperfocal benefits. So let's capture that image. As you can see uh, it's fairly good towards the bottom and great through the middle and it's stretching as we get out towards the top. The OM-1 camera has two focus bracketing or focus stacking modes. Now these are both the same as those you would find in the EM-1 Mark II or Mark III. It's just that now they are in two separate places in the menu. If you go to uh, Camera 2 tab and uh, the third tab in, you'll see focus bracketing. And we'll scroll back to computational modes and you see focus stacking. The difference is that focus stacking is the compositing mode that the EM1 Mark II and III did, and focus bracketing is the manual stack that you had to then composite yourself in a computer. Let's look at this one, which is the manual stack. To start with, you need to turn focus bracketing on, like this. Then you need to set the number of shots you want to capture. Now in order to establish the number of shots you need to understand something about the depth of field provided by the f-stop that you're using on your lens. So I'm going to set the number of shots here to 20 and the differential here to 3. Now this is partially based on experience with uh, the amount of depth of field that I have and the distance I'm trying to get the stack to cover. Charge time is um, the time you would allow if you had a flash attached. If it's an Olympus or an OM flash then the camera will take care of the charging period uh, anyway so you don't need to set that here. Okay so with all of this now set we are good to go. You will notice that there's a small icon at the right side of the screen showing that you're in this mode. Let's just show you where focus is. So focus across the full range. I'm going to bring the focus down to just below the bottom of the frame and let's do it. You can see that there's an orange um, icon flashing at the top left hand of the screen showing you that the stack is in process. And there we go, it's finished. So if we go and have a look in playback, you can see that the focus is right off the top here. And then I'll just bring it back down. I'm just scrolling through the images and you can see it moving down here all the way through to the bottom. So you can pull this into software and I'll give you a list of uh, the kind of software that you would use to do a manual stacking process. Now you'll notice that focus bracketing is still on and it's important that you turn it off before you exit this mode to do something else with your camera. Let's look at focus stacking in the computational menu. This is where the camera composites an image for you. Again you need to turn this on then you need to select the number of shots and set the focus differential as well. So we'd set 18 as the number of shots before but the interesting thing in here is that the maximum number of shots is 15. If you're doing macro that probably wouldn't worry you. But here we know that this is going to be a problem. So what I'm doing now is setting the focus differential at 4 uh, and this takes into account the wider depth of field at f4. Notice here that there is a frame around the composition. This is to indicate that the composite image will be cropped to this size. So when you do your composition you must allow for that. The second thing to know is that as you focus your um, for this stack, focus stacking requires you to focus in the middle of the composition 
which is around there. And what it does is it takes uh, half of the shots before that focus point and half of them after that focus point. There's still only 15 in this case, but half before and half after. This is distinctly different from focus bracketing, which requires you to focus at the beginning of the stack. So let's fire that off. What you see is something quite different because now the camera is capturing uh, and compositing on the fly. But there are our 15 shots uh, now. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty good, hey? Uh, okay, okay. As you can see, sharp from top to bottom. Okay. There is a difference between how the OM1 and the EM1 Mark II or Mark III present focus stacking. I've just shown you in the OM1 that there are two separate menu slots for these features, but in the Olympus cameras, uh, these two turned up both in the focus bracketing menu. If you have a look at this menu shot from my EM1 Mark III book, you can see focus stacking and then set number of shots and set focus differential. These look familiar. But the focus stacking feature at the top is actually the compositing uh, stack. So you would go in there and set the numbers just as we did now and produce the composited shot. Whereas if you leave that off and you set the number of shots and the focus differential, then you get a manual stack, which you must then composite yourself in software. So this is how it worked. It looked a bit confusing, but um, once you understood how it worked, it's quite fine.